great day. It's a great day to be a crossfitter. Two champs, shook hands. Looks like uh, looks like it's all hunky dory. Honestly, it wouldn't surprise me if they said, "Look, let's just get together, shake hands, take a photo, so we can get the drama, take the power away from the drama, you know, get the drama out of the way, and then let's sort out our differences, you know, ongoing." Um, I can't imagine they've sorted it all out that quick, but um, it's good. It's a positive thing. Two uh, two great champions, and I think they they handle it like champs. So um, good on them. Good on them for getting that sorted. But that is not what today's video is about. I just took my dog for a walk, and I'm going through uh, through YouTube. And I saw something pop up, something new, something fresh, something that I really like to look of. And that is a new channel, a new podcast by the looks of it, between Matt Fraser, Joss Bridges, and Sevan. Sevan Matosin? Matosin. I can't remember how to say his uh, last name, but you guys all know Joss Bridges, legend of the sport. Uh, you might not know who Sevan is, but he is probably, in my opinion, the best interviewee uh, the funniest, most straight up, most... He just has an ability to drag things out of athletes and asks questions that no one else is willing to ask. Asks. Um, he's very funny, very entertaining. I think he's a comedian actually. Anyway, I saw it pop up. The channel is literally just called Matt, Josh and Sivan right now. I think they, uh, they're working on a name still for the podcast. But you know how every now and then something new, fresh comes along, something cool? I often find myself just bored with the content that's out there. And uh, this, this could be very entertaining. If this is an ongoing, a weekly thing or a fortnightly thing, this could be a great podcast. You've got one of the OGs and Josh Bridges, the current champ, Matt, and then a very, very, very good content creator, communicator, um, someone who's very entertaining and funny, and, uh, and Savan. So I think it's gonna be a great trio. Could be the next big thing in my opinion in the, uh, the CrossFit content world. So um, I'll make sure that I link that channel at the end of the video on the end card. I'll pop in the description as well. So go and subscribe to their channel. Go and watch the episode. I haven't actually finished watching it. I'm probably, I'm only 13 minutes in. It's a minute 30 podcast. It literally just launched four hours ago. So um, yeah, it's exciting. I'm super excited. Ah, it's raining. I've been hanging out the train all day and uh, it just started raining. Anyway, if you're watching this, by the way, if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, and I know there's a lot more of you watching than are subscribed to the channel, because my last video got 12,000 views, and I've only got 2,500 followers. So if you're watching this and you enjoy my content, I would so appreciate it if you just hit that subscribe button, follow along. I'm gonna do my best to bring some really entertaining, high quality content in this uh, CrossFit slash content space. So um, I'd really appreciate it if you do that. I'm not gonna let the rain beat me. That um, nothing ever came of that head cold, it never dropped to the chest, so that is good. Starting to feel a lot better. Elbows are feeling all right, actually. So I'm doing five by five push press. Just um, just currently working up to my working weight. So I've got 70 on there now, just finished that. I'm gonna try 80 for five now. I think 80 is gonna be too heavy. I'm gonna go 75. 75 for five. I don't mind my gym equipment getting a bit wet, but I can't handle my camera gear getting wet, so we'll hide under here for now. Hopefully you guys can still see what's going on back there. So uh, 75 kgs, I'm about to do set number one, five by five. So yeah, go check out that podcast, the new channel. Let me know what you think, and uh, maybe drop them a comment. Let them know that I sent you. That'd be cool. And um, I'm really hoping it's a real deal. Uh, that first video is literally a Zoom call on their phones between the three of them. Um, it'd be pretty cool if it became something a bit better and bigger, slightly higher production quality. But um, but yeah, the knowledge and the 
entertainment level will be uh, will be super high, I'm sure. So go and enjoy this one waiting there. Like I've said, I'm only 13 minutes into that first one. Already really enjoying it. I wouldn't be surprised if uh, some of the matte rich stuff comes out in there as well. Savon does mention it pretty early on in the uh, in the podcast. I did want to say a massive thank you for the support over the last kind of week with the last three or four videos. It's been awesome, the amount of views, the amount of comments and engagement. So uh, yeah, thanks so much. If you're new to the channel, welcome, you sexy beast. And uh, it stopped raining. Take you back outside again. I'm super pumped for this year's content. I feel creative, I feel inspired, I feel ready to go. So come along for the ride. And uh, like I said, I'll do my very best to uh, educate, entertain, and make this worth your, worth your while, worth your time. Set number three, baby. We are. Before you comment and ask where I'm wearing lifters, I'll save you and myself the time of messaging. I've got really bad ankles and so even on things like push press to keep my heels on the ground and even if you look closely with my lifters on, my heels still come off slightly. So I have real issue trying to keep those heels down. Just zero flexibility, zero flexion on my ankles. Just years of skateboarding and rolling and breaking and fracturing my ankles. It's just so much scar tissue built up. So uh, it's all good. You've got to work with what you've got, you know? I've been looking for dumbbells everywhere since I uh, built this gym, because I knew they'd come up in the open and I haven't been able to find them. And then I was at the mall just two days ago and I saw some. I saw some 22.5 kg dumbbells at uh, Red Bull Sport. So I grabbed two of them, hoping that uh, the men's weight for the open this year is 22.5 kgs. But either way, I've got some dumbbells now, which is nice. Okay, set number four. Sup. Collarbones, collarbones, love and life. But yeah, I really just wanted to come on here and say thank you for being here. Thank you for your attention. I want to ask you to subscribe if you haven't. Go and subscribe and check out the uh, the new channel, the new podcast of uh, Savan, Matt, and Josh. It's going to be good. And um, yeah. Got my last set here. I'm still holding off the medcons for now. I'm just doing some strength work today, so this is my last set. Okay, a few dipsies to finish off, eh? You dipsies. Sup. Sup guys, Future Vakey here, just finishing up the edit um, on the vlog there. So last night I watched the whole episode, the whole first podcast, the Matt, Josh and Savan podcast. And honestly, it was better than I expected. It really delivered. Um, it was such bad quality, like Savan was driving in his car and the connection kept dropping out. But even though it was rubbish quality, um, the content and entertainment level was so high, it was uh, very, very enjoyable to watch. So I can't wait for these guys to, I think there was like a test run for them. So I can't wait for them to actually uh, get themselves sorted with an actual proper podcast set up. And uh, yeah, it's going to be great. Now, just to tease the episode a bit, because I really want you to go and watch it. Matt apparently had COVID. That's news. Um, apparently he just got it while he was on a hunting trip. Um, didn't go and get tested. He just lost his sense of smell and taste and just kind of self-isolated So that was interesting and then Matt also talks about the meeting with Rich how that all came to be and how it went um, And he talks about who he thinks is going to be the next big thing in CrossFit who's coming after him 
So there's three of many cool things that were spoken about in the podcast to tease it a bit for you. So again, go watch it, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to their channel, comment, like, do all those things. It really does help uh, the channel and my journey, so I would love you for it. Guys, keep roaring love, stay sexy, and uh, man, I'm on a roll at the moment, eh? Just making videos every day, so I'm loving it. So I'll probably see you tomorrow. Thank you.